nature is very important in a way that um, I'm starting with daylight. Daylight is the profound connections of people to nature and with light. There are a lot of um, things in nature which are nice for people. Uh, walking from shadow to light. If you're walking under trees, experiencing the different levels of light. Even sometimes being blinded by a, a bit of uh, sun on a window can be very nice because you get a kind of uh, experience at that moment. And I think these kind of qualities we try to use in our designs. We always use, uh, are used to put a natural effect in our concept, uh, like a, a sun through the trees or a reflection of the water uh, and so on. How would I like to use nature in the future? I think in the same way it's really looking uh, around really observing. It starts with observation. If you look at nature, there's a lot of things that we can learn from it. Uh, like in the morning, very early in the morning, the revitalizing light. How does it come and stir up that emotion? And then in the evening, this romantic, weary light. And the colorful sensation light in sunrise and sunset. All these things is observing and thinking how that you can be connected on the project. What uh, I like uh, in the natural, uh, in the nature, uh, and in the natural light, uh, is the diversity, because natural light is always uh, different, uh, and uh, I like this kind of not uniformity. So we try uh, to to create uh, this kind of um, diversity, uh, also in the uh, in lighting. Uh, in interior space, so to create this kind of disuniformity, let me say. How can you get that in the building and how can you make sure that you make a place where people come to because they get that feeling and in that way get acquainted with each other and create opportunities to have dialogues with each other. So maybe it's like the fireplace where you come together, uh, but then taking parts out of daylight, shadow, light play, um, these are the ingredients to get the people together.